good morning or good evening, St. Louis. I mean, it's whatever. It's like nighttime. Nighttime. <laughs> good evening, St. Louis. Uh, special segment. This isn't Who's Talk. Well, this is Who's Talk, but this is a new one. Well, not necessarily new, but like, yeah, this PBP, person behind the passion where we get to know exactly what make a person think, I mean, tick, what get them going, uh, all that good jazz. Y'all know it's never rehearsed, and really, we just try to get to know people like behind the magic. Uh, so, without further ado, like, and man, like, I heard uh, just talking, just talking to people uh, with your name amongst it, just like everything you touch is like good, great, uh, damn near close to like you take your time and you really put time and effort into what you do. Uh, and that's just like from Kemp. Uh, shout out. Um, and just like, uh, just on some things that like I noticed that like you're a real spiritual person and really in tune with like just for the people. Right, right. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, everybody that's free. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go by uh, free, but uh, I, my uh, stage name, Freebird Skull. Uh, I'm an audio engineer, rapper, I, uh, clothing designer. I'm doing um, these art events. Uh, the art event is called Rare Earth Art Show Showcase. And um, Who's Talk was in the first event, the first production of the event that we put on. So yeah. Look, yeah. Hey, I appreciate you. Having no, me. I appreciate it's you like, coming yeah, through. It was, it, yeah. was lit. it was lit. It was lit. Yeah, yeah. Gave the people a little cheat. Hey, if y'all, y'all miss it, you should have been there. You should have been there. Most definitely, uh, you should have been there. Yeah. If you, you wasn't there, come to the next one. The next one is uh, October twenty seventh. So come check it out. Yeah, uh, where is it? Is it it's gonna be at uh, the Medici, the uh, Medici Center, uh, which is off uh, Watson Road. Uh, look for the flyer to uh, pop up. I'm gonna um, give it to Who's Talk as well. And they'll be able to post it yeah, for you. Most definitely, yeah. Cause uh, yeah, we most definitely, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Be- before, well, look, let's let's get this started. Like, what, what got you on it? Cause like, when people, so when people heard like everything that you do, right? Yeah. What got you on a path of just wanting to be like give back to the people? Cause like that's something real big to you. Cause it's like we as a city we don't have a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like when you when you talk about St. Louis, you talk about uh, a depleted downtown St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Or a depleted North Side St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we are a people who are searching for something constantly within our city, or trying to create something out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we as a black people we do that naturally. But it's, you know, it's like St. Louis does that because it's a need. You know what I'm saying? We have like many needs. You know what I'm saying? We have, uh, you know, we need jobs and multiple things. You know what I'm saying? Like schools and all that. So it's like, when you talk about the arts, I know there's a need for that because it's like, it's a lack thereof in the school program. You know what I'm saying? Like it's been eliminated in our school. So it's like, you don't find an artist when you're growing up. It's like when when you find them as an adult. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or even care to find them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like if something's not introduced to you when you're young, it's kind of like you gotta stumble upon it when you get older. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was my thing. I'm like, you know, I'm a uh, I'm a lover of like all the arts. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm into like painting, poetry, jazz, music, abroad. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's just like. I look at the St. Louis scene as an overall, I don't look at it as one genre or this genre or that, you know what I'm saying? I just look at it overall, I'm like, there's a lack of, you know what I'm saying, um, community, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, we always talk about community, like, uh, you know, the North Side community, or this community, or that community, or hip hop community, it's like, you know, it's fine to say all that, but at the end of the day, it's like, are we really a community? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For it to be a community, you gotta have, you know, you gotta have staples in it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what staples hold us together? You know what I'm saying? As a community. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, uh, what do you mean by staples? You know, like, you know, when you say this is a community, you have usually a head of a community, some type of figures, you know what I'm saying, that that hold, hold things together, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to measure yourself from. Or you have staples like, you know, you may have a store, a grocery store, you have a hospital, you have a school, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You have these type of staples, you have a, uh, you know, you have uh, businesses to fund 
your community. You know what I'm saying? Where the money goes in and it comes out to these places. Boom, 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 gotcha. boom, boom. Gotcha. To to make it a community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like we don't have that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you say the black community or the north side community is like really a you know, you you saying that because you have people there, but you don't have the actual foundations of that. Or you have church, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like yeah, we got plenty of churches but we don't have the other things that come surround it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you may yeah. see a church, a really pretty church, in the middle of a broken down community, and it's like, why is that? But nah, back to like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The art, you finna spin it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But back to the art of it, you know what I'm saying? So because the art is one aspect of the whole of what what we lack in St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, as for me as an artist, it's like I want to see art, but at the same time, I want to see poetry. At the same time, I want to hear music. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you know, I'm into podcasting. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, I'm into uh, entrepreneurship because that's what I do. You know, this is my clothing brand. Uh, La Petite More Free Birds is my brand. You know what I'm saying? So, and the brand itself is, you know, uh, a brand of uh, rebellious nature. You know what I'm saying? It's like a middle finger is my staple because it's like uh, a fuck you to those who would oppose our, pro our progression, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And so for me as a black man, anything that opposes my, you know what I'm saying, my growth, my ability to uh, evolve, you know what I'm saying, is this is like me saying, you know, fuck yeah, that, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so, okay. So that that's where all this comes from, you know what I'm saying? So like me being, you know, uh, someone who's branding himself and, you know, developing, you know, uh, entrepreneurship spirit and stuff like that, you know, I want to uh, encourage that in other people and see them grow. So, the lot, I mean, uh, the Rare Air Art Showcase is that, is me doing all of that in one place. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I want to see uh, the arts because I love to see people draw. I love the talent of that. And I was like, well, let me put that together with poetry because I feel like art, you know what I'm saying, inspires other artists. You know what I'm saying? Because me as an artist, you know, I get inspired by watching movies or watching paintings or watching, you know what I'm saying, anything, you know what I'm saying, or just fashion or just uh, models or whatever it is, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying, or yeah. I might hear some music. So I was like, if I put the art with the poets and have them interpret that, you know what I'm saying, I think that would be a great show, you know what I'm saying, and that's yeah. a great showing of how art imitates art or represents art or reflects art, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was doing when I thought of that. Plus, like, um, I'm kind of like a scatterbrain. I don't, I don't work in one facet, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like my mindset is like boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? It's like I need all this shit together in order for me to be happy, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I was yeah. like, I gotta have this and then that, and then that's when I was like, I need podcasters to come because I feel like podcast is the new art form, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a new form of radio, and radio is a fast uh, uh, part of art as well because you gotta be uh, a dynamic person to catch somebody's attention through word, just regular conversation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, yeah. and I'm like, you know, the way that podcasters got to set up they uh, whole shit is like, you know, it's the same as an artist, like as a rapper or R&B singer, you got to yeah. put your shit on Spotify, you got to, you know, uh, do a fucking cover art for your podcast each week, you got to have content for it, you got to have a mm -hmm. title for it, catchy title, so motherfucker, oh, you know what I'm saying, see... They see your podcast and they like, oh, I want to check that episode out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's called Biggest Boss. You know what I'm saying? Whatever yeah, yeah, in case, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, I'm like, yeah, so I need it all in one place so people can be able to relate to it all. Or if they not even hip to podcasts, you'll get hip because you'll come in here and you'll meet who's talking. You'll be like, who? they be like, well, who are you? I'm a podcaster. Motherfucker be like, I ain't never heard of a podcast. What did that do? All right, sit your ass down. Let me interview yeah, you. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I yeah, bust yeah. you down. And after that, hopefully, you're inspired to keep watching my, you know, you are tuned in to your podcast and then be inspired to check other people's podcasts out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you this. What, yeah. give me a little bit about your upbringing. Like, what got you to this mindset? Like, because people not coming out the womb ready to view life like that. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know how to say that. I mean, well, you know, like, that's just who I I am in general, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, so like, it's more of a give, you know, the more you give, the more you receive type of mindset, you know okay. what I'm saying? I think that's how I was raised, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you know, we all come from the hood or whatever. And I know my like my upbringing was like uh, taught to give to those that's around me or in my family. You know what I'm saying? So when you giving to those uh, and support in return, you should get re you know support back. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it's a you know it's an it's 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 the nature of life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. like you know I rub your back, you rub mine, or you know scratch my back type yeah, of thing. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like you know that's just how I was. I was raised, I was just raised to, you know, look out, you know, to do right by people and in the end you'll, you know, be done right by. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Because, yeah, you know, yeah. people are shady too, so you got to watch out for that. But, in the, but you know, as long as you come from a good place, that's really the, all, all that matters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. And that's my, my viewpoint on it, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like... People going to be whatever they're going to be. You know what I'm saying? That has nothing to do with you. You know what, what I'm saying? What I'm like, saying was like, you were saying like, where did I get this mindset from? And it's really, I was going to say, well, you know, if you invite somebody into something and, you know, they, you know, they, they, they misuse you, then, you know, that's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? You did the right thing by inviting them. But, you know, uh, if a person is misuses you, you know, you just got to know, you know, to carry forward in a different manner with that person. But to go back to like where I got like my mindset from is like, I grew up studying like uh, the black renaissance, you know what I'm saying? Like in Harlem. Okay. So like okay. that type of shit like that, you know, that's the, that's that that's just where I'm at with it. You know what I'm saying? Like when I think about art, that's why I always, my reference, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Is like the renaissance, the poetry, the art form of it, you know what I'm saying? To get the togetherness mm, okay. of it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, you can't beat that. And it was like, today we have all this technology and quote unquote knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, to me, for us not to be in the same essence of where they were with less, it's ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? True. Because yes. it's like, we're, we're supposedly so evolved in this millennial stage that we're at. So it's like, why are we not at the place that they were? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, it's like, when you look at St. Louis and you say, you know, where's the music scene or where's this scene or that scene? And it's like, it's kind of vague, you know what I'm saying? You may know this person, you may not know these people or whatever case may have you. It's like, are we actually developing a scene or cultivating what needs to be cultivated for the bulk of the people? Or are we just trying to cultivate us a stitch so we can be able to say, oh, I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And for me, I'm not I'm not really on no glory hog shit. You know what I'm saying? Where like, I'm trying to be like uh, the only nigga or this nigga or that nigga. I'm really just really for the culture of it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I want to be entertained as well as... I want to entertain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I'm doing it for just the sport of it because I, you know, I love, you know, poetry, hip hop, art, etc. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I prefer to to grow the scene and make sure that the cream of the crop is seen and not just the niggas who want to be hot, hot or hype. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. like in St. Louis, it's a lot of dick riding and hype. Yeah. versus quality of talent. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And I and I understand, you know, like if you on your grind, you just gonna get seen more. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. And that's you yeah. can't knock a nigga grind. No. But you, you know, it's a lot of it's a it, it is a lot of dick hugging in St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? When and it comes see, to like general yeah. perspective. And see, I wanted to uh jump into what like how you say it done it shouldn't matter like where you come from, this and the third. Um mm -hmm. with who is, who is, we got out like the message I came up with just because who is and who's talk, like who is is the body of information I want people to understand and really grasp the spirit of. Who's talk is the voice of that spirit. Right. You see what I'm saying? So with who is the message behind it is what we are doesn't define us. Our circumstances aren't our choice. We all need help. Change won't come unless we help each other the right way. Every day someone is born with their eyes closed and together, I believe we can change that. And when the world asks who, what would you say? Oh, that's deep as a <laughs> motherfucker. You gotta get that up. Bro. Right on, man. I appreciate that. Nah, you know for saying? real. 
Now, but you know, like when I first met you, it was like I felt like you had a lot to say and give. That's why I, I reached out to you. Yeah. So like everybody that I reached out to, it was something about what they did or their art or whatever that spoke to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm gonna take this person. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't yeah, random. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and that's probably what Kay, uh, Kayla was saying or whoever was saying that I took a time because I do take time. Like I really go. And I look at people or you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, I try to give vibe for or I listen to people's uh poems or like spoken word or if they rap or whatever the fuck people do. And I really like take their shit seriously and I'm like, oh, okay, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you dope, and I'm like, okay, let me reach out. And I'll reach out, you know what I'm saying? It'll be me, it won't be like somebody else randomly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm I'm asking you from my point of view as a viewer of what you do, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, I, lo I love what you do, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I want you to be a part of this so, you know, I can shed more light on you through my uh, platform that I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm using, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I was like, I, I had to ask y'all because I'm like, man, y'all seem so deep about how y'all, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying, y'all perspective. Yeah, yeah. I went and checked y'all podcast out and everything. I'm like, yeah. I got to have them on, you know what I'm saying? Hey, real talk. I appreciate that, man. And, and, you know, I checked out Oversaturated Podcast. Shout out to them. Yeah, you know, shout out. Shout out. Everybody who just was a part of it. And, you know, that's just how I am, you know what I'm saying? I like to really just be hands-on on, like, everything. You know what I'm saying? Not not because I'm just trying to. It's just, it's just when I look at art, you know what I'm saying? I'm serious about it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like I just really want to see, like, what this is, how you how you come off, how you feel to me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's every, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's important, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like when you listen to, like, a lot of music nowadays, it'd be a lot of flashy shit. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I might hear a song, and I'd be like, all right, that was cool, you know what I'm saying? But then I forget about it because I didn't feel nothing from it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel enough to want to go back and replay that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, that's my thing. It's like whatever makes me feel something or that I want to go back to and re re uh re re watch it or re listen or re you know what I'm saying take another gander at it or you know what I'm saying or take it deeper so that that's what it was and that's what you know what I'm saying the show is for me you know what I'm saying okay let me ask you what what is the black renaissance to you the black renaissance like from like uh, the Hall of Renaissance, or just Renaissance in general. Like when you when you when you brought it up, what what exactly was you talking about? Because a lot of people don't know or may not know what that is, and I just want to know because that's very interesting as you said that I've been to, like I've never heard nobody even bring that up. You know what I mean? To me, the Black Renaissance, you know, you you could say it's this, that, or the third, but to me, it's the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like they have a um, unwavering spirit of we gonna do this shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, this is who we are, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And, it's, and, and it's unapologetic, you know what I'm saying? And so that, that to me is the renaissance. So when you speak about the heart, whatever you speak about as us as a people or whatever we do, it's, it's, it's the spirit behind it. It, it. You know, you could say it's the march, or it's the the music or whatever, but it's actually the spirit that's put into this movement. You know what I'm saying? So that's the renaissance. That's that's the bulk. That's 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 the core of it. You know what I'm saying? The art is just uh, what you call it, a reflection of it, or the uh, vessel that it was used to get out there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like even that's arty, like within yeah, itself. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because it's like. When you when you when you do your podcast, you know what I'm saying, it's like it's something that's moving you to do yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just like you wake up like I'm gonna do this podcast because it's the cool shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's like nah, I'm doing this podcast because I I I got it's something in me that wants to say whatever I gotta say and, oh, yeah, and yeah. capture these moments and discuss these topics. The spirit moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's the same thing when you see an artist. And he paint whatever he paint, it's because some in his spirit wouldn't let him sleep. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't let him sit there, and made him start putting putting ink palettes on a motherfucking board, or a rapper, or 
or R and B singer or whatever have you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's something in you that makes you say, "I need to get up and do this." When I when somebody else is sitting at home laying on their ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's something about the spirit of that artist that's making them get up and do something else, do something extra. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they soul just won't won't rest until it's boom. Because it's it's a different feeling when you're done with your podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You upload and you listen back and you like, damn, that was hard. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or or when you do a song and you you done you done wrote it, went to the booth, spit it, the engineer you know, he engineering it, mixing it, you listen to it back, and you like, damn, that was hard. And it all came from a feeling. You had one feeling, and that was to do something, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the Renaissance is. It's a feeling to do something. And you know what I'm saying, it's a motivation that motivates people and, and you know. The Harlem Renaissance was through art, and that's what I'm feeling like, you know what I'm saying? We need to motivate people through art, because art is a feeling of emotions. It, you know what I'm saying? You see something, and you relate to it, and you want to express yourself. Mm. So that's that's what I'm feeling, like when you say Renaissance. Okay. That, lastly, not, uh, just chop this up however you want. Uh, not even like that, but what would be your advice to a young entrepreneur? Like coming up, like they want to be just like you. How they they just like you got their mind, hand, and a little bit of everything. They can't sit down. They want to shoot for the stars, but they don't know where they want to go first. What, is, what what advice you would give them? Just do do your first the first thing that comes to your mind. You know what I'm saying? Cause really, like being an entrepreneur is just about not giving up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because uh. No matter what idea you have, it's all about seeking it out. You know what I'm saying? So if I got an idea for a shoe store, you know, every every day I wake up, you got to start shooting for that goal. You know what I'm saying? You got to have goals for it and line it up. And it's just a matter of taking your steps to uh, reach that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that may be. So it's, it's more so doing in the doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So if you're an entrepreneur, it's... It behooves you to just want if you want to become an entrepreneur is just to get out there and, and start you know what I'm saying because nothing's gonna be easy and nobody's gonna necessarily take to you at first but it's like the more you do the more people recognize mm -hmm. what you do and then you know you should uh, reap your reward of your work you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. yeah. but that's that's what I was tell a, a, you know young entrepreneur you know and you need to uh, research whatever it is that you, you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Research, embody whatever it is that you want to become as an entrepreneur. You know, whatever the business tag mm -hmm. that you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you have to embody that. You know what I'm saying? Being an entrepreneur is not a, a title. It, it is a life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It is, it's, you know, it's not like uh, something that you do or you, you do because of a cool tag or, you know, you want to embody an image. You want to be an entrepreneur is an all day, every day task. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's something that you, you you know, you have to embody it the way you embody life. You know what I'm saying? So however you live your life, it will reflect in your um, entrepreneurship travels. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to focus, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, you know well, what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, yeah. on, on this ending note, uh, so who is everything that you was talking about, man? Like I was just like I couldn't wait. I was like he don't even know, but like who is is like uh, the the information about about the organization right. is a spiritual organization dedicated to understanding identity and unity within the community. That's dope. You see that's what I'm dope. So that was all what you were saying. So that, and then and then it's just like so that's why I was just like man, when you hit me up, it's like man. I was like, man, I got you because it's just more so that vibe. Mm -hmm. You already a part of the Who Is family. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? And right. what people don't understand, the Who Is family is just a, a group of people that's like, just genuine. Like, we just as genuine as we are. Like, we just us. Right, right. You know? Yeah, exactly. And that's, and just with our message behind that, like, that's something universal that all of us can follow. You know what I mean? Right. And it's not going to trip us up in our calling, what we got to do. Right, right. You know, so 
again, bro, I just thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for real, for real coming on the episode and uh, blessing, blessing me with your presence. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, I appreciate you uh, having me on the episode, man, because I was like running around the, you know, the day of the uh, art show, and I, I, I didn't get around to getting you know, uh, yeah, on the episode. Yeah, but this better though. Yeah, this better. Yeah, this better. You know what I'm saying? You got your solo. You know what I'm saying? Solo. Yeah. <laughs> I can't knock yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm glad you uh, had me on here, man. Hey, most definitely. And then too, we gonna have more episodes to come, like, cause this. Cool. What I got, what I got cooking for everybody, like, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good, but most definitely, thank no, you. No, I appreciate you, yeah. bro. Thank, thank, you, thank, you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all, we out. Free bird, free. Uh, again, man, let them know where they can find you. What's going on? Uh, you can find me on IG. It's Free Bird Skull on um all platforms. It's gonna be the same. Free Bird Skull. F R E E B I R D S K O. Uh, on all platforms. Uh, our next uh rare earth art show case will be October twenty seventh. I think it's gonna be from like uh, three to seven or something like that. It's gonna be like a midday, you know okay, what I'm saying, okay. uh, event. It's on a Sunday, and you know, come out, enjoy yourself. Um, it's free, y'all. It's free. <laughs> it's free. Yeah. It's free messing with free. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is it? 2055 Watson Road, 2055 Watson Road. Come check your boy out. Uh, all of us gonna be here and we gonna jam. Yeah, for huh? sure. Yeah. All right, right. y'all. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah.